Andrea McClellan's husband is the Chief Strategy Officer of Norfolk Southern Corporation. So Andrea's livelihood comes from Norfolk Southern. If Andrea were elected to the Virginia General Assembly, how would she vote on legislation affecting Norfolk Southern? Andrea would have to recuse herself from any consideration of Norfolk Southern because she would have a conflict of interest. And you would not have representation when it came to anything involving Norfolk Southern. Andrea could not vote on stopping Norfolk Southern's coal dust polluting. Andrea could not vote on fixing Norfolk Southern safety issues. Andrea could not vote on changing the shabby way Norfolk Southern has treated its employees. So forget about asking Andrew McClellan to do anything about Norfolk Southern, even making it do something about its coal dust pollution. Norfolk Southern pollutes the air and land with its coal dust everywhere its coal trains go. Imagine its trains speeding past your house every day, leaving your neighborhood in a cloud of coal dust. Coal dust on your windows, your porches, your cars. Coal dust flies off thousands of fully loaded coal cars sitting in Norfolk Southern's Lambert's Point rail yard every day, waiting for their contents to be loaded on ships. It flies into the air from Norfolk Southern's huge rotary rail car dumpers too, and from its conveyors, and from its gigantic ship loaders. But despite Norfolk Southern's astounding profits, over $8 billion in 2022, Norfolk Southern has refused for years to cover its coal cars. and enclose its dumpers. Imagine if Norfolk Southern were caught slipping coal dust into school kids' lunches, rather than their lungs. You would want your state senator to be able to fix that, right? But don't look at Andrew McClellan. She's way too tight with Norfolk Southern. <laughs>